Phoenix Systems, patented tools for the perfect brake job. For those of you that own an auto repair shop or a service center, well, you know how important the brakes are to the performance of a vehicle. And you probably know that the buildup of copper in the brake fluid can cause some serious damage to valves and expensive ABS systems. And the only way to solve this problem is to periodically purge the system and put in new fluid. But how do you make that fact turn into profits for your company? Well, Phoenix Systems has come out with a simple seven-step procedure to help you put money in your pocket. Step one is to test every vehicle that comes into your shop with brake strip. It only takes a minute, and the brake strip is always accurate. Step two is to determine if a brake fluid replacement is required by comparing it to the colored graph. Step number three is to simply show the strip and the graph to the customer so we can make the comparison himself. Then if a brake fluid replacement is required, step four is just to staple the strip to a work order so it doesn't get lost. Step number five is to actually perform the brake fluid exchange. There's the vacuum flush that pulls fluid down and out through the wheel cylinders and the pressure flush, which forces new fluid down through the master cylinder. And of the two, Phoenix Systems recommends the pressure flush for best removal of contaminants. Now, remember the purpose of the flush is to get all the contaminants out of the system and to fill it with new fluid. However, the reverse technique is only used for bleeding to remove trapped air, not for flushing the system. A tip when pressure flushing is to push the brake pedal in about an inch using a helper or a prop rod if you're by yourself. This opens a low pressure zone in some master cylinders and gives you a much more efficient flush. Once you have all the fluid exchanged, one person with the Phoenix Systems Max Pro tool can do a reverse bleed to get all the air bubbles out of the system. So no matter what you're doing, this is the tool to use. Step number six is to pump the brake pedal a few times to mix things up good, and then perform an after test to make sure you did in fact get rid of all the old contaminated fluid. Remember, the brake strips don't lie, so if you fail this test, the brake fluid exchange was not done right and you get to do it again. Finally, step number seven is to give the after test to the customer. This gives you a before and after comparison and also documents the work. And that's it, it's that simple. And most shops charge around 100 bucks for this service. So there is no reason that you shouldn't be offering it too. Phoenix Systems, patented tools for the perfect brake job.